in this video I'm going to go over the different kind of sanitizers you can use for your pool, otherwise known as chlorine types. And I'll be going over the benefits and drawbacks of each type of chlorine and I'll let you know which one is the best to use for your pool. Let me start off with what I think is the best chlorine type for your pool, which is liquid chlorine. Or the equivalent of this would be your household bleach. It has the same active ingredient, just in a smaller percentage. And what I like about the liquid chlorine is per volume, it has 12.5% of chlorine, which is about equivalent to one pound bag of shock. Since it's measured in a liquid form and not a dry form, it's hard to correlate it. But if you just break it down, you'll see that liquid chlorine has as much active chlorine you would find in, again, a one pound bag of shock at your local pool store. And another thing that I like about liquid chlorine is that it's fast acting and it's safe for all pool types and it's very easy to use. The liquid form, you just pour it into the pool. And liquid chlorine doesn't really affect the pH, so it doesn't move the pH up or down in your pool. And liquid chlorine doesn't contain any other elements like conditioner or CYA. And one of the drawbacks of liquid chlorine is it has very short shelf life. So if you purchase it from a store that doesn't rotate its stock, or if you keep it in your backyard for a long period of time, it will get weaker over time. And the next type of chlorine is a bag of shock like this right here. This is a trichlor shock. They also have dichlor shock, and I'll show you the cal hypo in a moment. Shock is a convenient way to sanitize your pool. It has a very long shelf life also, about one or two years. It's a convenient way to carry chlorine back to your pool. The only problem with the trichlor shock, it also does have conditioner in it. So it'll raise your conditioner level in your pool. It also has a very strong smell to it when you add it to the pool. And if you use large amounts of the trichlor shock, it will lower the pH in your pool. Next up is cal hypo or calcium hypochlorite. There are a couple drawbacks of using cal hypo in a pool. It will cloud the water when you pour it in directly. Also it will raise the calcium level in your pool. And it does have a higher pH, so it will raise your pH if you use large amounts of it. Cal hypo doesn't include any conditioner or cyanuric acid. So it's a great alternative to using a shock with cyanuric acid in it. And they also make cal hypo tablets, which is really convenient. They don't have any cyanuric acid in them, so they won't raise the level of your conditioner in your pool. One caution, however, if you're going to switch over from trichlor tablets to cal hypo, you don't want to use the same feeder that you're using for the trichlor tablets. You want to get a whole new feeder for the cal hypo tablets. Otherwise, it could cause a chemical reaction or explosion. The next type of chlorine is dichlor. This is a granular form of chlorine. Dichlor is a convenient way to add chlorine to your pool. One of the nice things about dichlor is that it's pH neutral, so it won't raise or lower the pH in your pool. So dichlor is a granular type of chlorine. They also sell dichlor in a powdered form or shock form. I wouldn't recommend that one. That one has a lot of other ingredients that could really cloud up your water. But the granular dichlor is fine and is safe for all pool surface types. And one of the drawbacks of dichlor is about half of the weight of dichlor is conditioner or cyanuric acid. So if you add a five pound bucket of dichlor to your pool, you're adding about two pounds of cyanuric acid also. The next type of chlorine is trichlor. You have the tablet form like this here. Note that if you're using tablets in your pool, that half of the weight of the tablet is cyanuric acid or conditioner. So this will also raise your conditioner level in your pool. So if you use a 50 pound bucket during the season, about 20 pounds of that is cyanuric acid. So you're adding 20 pounds of cyanuric acid to your pool. And trichlor is the strongest chlorine on the market. Most tablets are 90 to 99% trichlor. One of the drawbacks of trichlor is that since it has so much cyanuric acid, it also can stain your pool surface. So be very careful when using trichlor in a pool. If you have a fiberglass or vinyl pool, I don't recommend using trichlor in it. In fact, most fiberglass pools warranties will be voided if you use trichlor in it. And since trichlor has so much cyanuric acid in it, it also lowers the pH in your pool if you put large amounts of trichlor in your pool. They also sell a granular form of trichlor to fight algae. This is the Hasa Algae Ban. It's the one that I use on my pool route. This is 99% active trichlor. The granular trichlor is great for pools with black algae or stubborn mustard algae. One caution is that it could stain the surface of your pool. So only use the trichlor in a white plaster pool. You can use it in a color plaster pool if the color plaster is really old and has a lot of modeling. I would not use trichlor in a fiberglass, vinyl, or pebble tech pool. But the granular trichlor is highly effective against algae. So one caution about high cyanuric acid levels or conditioner levels in the pool. You want to keep your cyanuric acid level between 30 and 50 parts per million. If you have a salt water pool, you can go as high as 80 parts per million. If you let the cyanuric acid level get too high in your pool, it'll make the chlorine a lot less effective. So you're going to find algae blooms with high chlorine levels. You're going to have to keep your chlorine level much higher than normal to keep chlorine in your pool. Besides the sanitizers that I show you here in this video, 
Another great way to add chlorine to your pool is with a salt water generator or salt water system. And a salt water system will convert the salt into a gas form of chlorine. So it's a great effective way to add chlorine to your pool. So that's a look at the different type of sanitizers or chlorines that you can use for your pool. Inyopools.com is a proud sponsor of swimming pool tips and have been helping pool owners find the right pool parts since 2001. With over 50,000 pool parts in stock, order online today and have your parts delivered right to your door.